What's going on everyone? It's your boy Big D here. It's time to review a, another movie which was from 2014. This stars Mark Wahlberg and it is a little bit underrated. Not very much talked about and I didn't see no marketing for it um, around you know the Christmas time last year. But here's my review for The Gambler. Alright guys, so let's get right into this. I'm not going to spoil nothing. This is a non-spoiler review. I'm just going to tell you re real quick the synopsis of it. Just like you're just taking a lesson, just 30 seconds to do uh, what the plot is about. And then my pros and cons and my final score. Alright, so lit professor, or literature professor, excuse me, and gambler Jim Bennett, Mark Wahlberg. Uh, he is in debt and it causes him to borrow money from his mother, Jessica Lang, and loan shark, uh... John Goodman, further complicating his situation in his relationship with one of his students. Will Bennett risk his life for a second chance? Now, let's get right into it, guys. What did I think about this movie overall? Um, I, I went in, you know, thinking I saw this at the Dollar Movies back in February. This is like I'm I'm like two and a half months late to this review, guys. So it's been a while since I seen the movie. Two and a half months, so. But I tried to refresh my memory as much as I can. Try to think back if it's memorable or not. And some parts are, and I'll get with my cons first. First off, uh, before I went into this movie thinking, you know, I heard some negative stuff about the movie and how it's a, like a, a remake or an attribute to the original Gambler movie, like in the 70s or 80s. And um, I was just thinking, you know what? I had negative feelings in my head when I went in, and I was hoping, you know, I'm like, every like Mark Wahlberg is amazing. He is. A every movie he's in, he brings something to the table that no one else can bring. He brings some charisma into it, charm, and that's what he's good for, man. He brings the good vibrations, and I love it. So, Mark Wahlberg in this movie, he is interesting at a point. He is a douche. Uh, he, he's not really that likable. He's really suicidal in a way, one of those characters where he's just kind of not afraid of death type. So, he is kind of like, really, uh, you, you're not, not really where you'll care for his character, but still, I would have picked someone else to be in this movie as a lead, but still Mark Wahlberg having him in here, he's not bad in it, I mean he's not the worst thing ever in cinema history, Mark Wahlberg is amazing and I don't think it's his fault, I think it's more of the writing's fault, which I'll get into that in a little bit uh, secondly, John Goodman, dude, he comes out maybe three, four scenes at most, but he is amazing dude, uh, real quick if you've seen the trailers, when John Goodman's just talking to Mark Wahlberg, really freaking intense, fuck you what are you going to say to me? Fuck you. Exactly. It's amazing for uh, that part wise. Um, there are intense scenes, man, because like when he's gambling, there's a scene where it lasted like six minutes maybe, where Mark Wahlberg's gambling, and it's just a super intense one-shot scene. That's beautifully done, man. I was really impressed by that. It looked lovely. Um, the writing was overall good. I enjoyed that for that part of the gambling and the how it's done because I'm not really used to gambling so like when I'm seeing this stuff I'm kinda like okay how does this work how does that work kinda puts me into it um, and again he's a literature teacher so some of his teaching scenes I wouldn't say he's the greatest liter literature uh, teacher but then again some professors are just dicks to their students at times and I mean you, they could be because America and they're not working for um, you know high school or middle school they're professor so they could be a dick if they want and for how he does it kind of interesting in a way but one of those where like I hope he's not my teacher but still the teaching scenes that he does they're alright they, they, they're where a pro is they're not a con for that now the cons I have there is a freaking basketball scene in this movie I won't say nothing else about it but it's like this movie went from a thriller suspense of a debt movie to a basketball movie. Like, it went full-on frickin' uh, Kevin Costner on us, man. Frickin', like, people were bouncing balls, and then it looked like it was filmed, like, the way they filmed the basketball scene, which, that's an A-plus, man, for that basketball scene, if this was a basketball movie, if it was a sport movie. It's not a sport movie, unless you count gambling as a sport, then it is, but not for basketball. And it's interesting, but it just didn't work for the movie. I was like, no, don't do this. I don't want to watch a basketball scene. And it, like, lasts a while. Uh, but it's beautifully shot. But, again, there was no need. Like, the whole basketball stuff in this movie, 
not needed. There are parts where this movie loses focus. There are some losing focus of this movie. Uh, and I don't like the ending. Like, the ending after sitting down for, what, maybe two hours or something? Close to two hours, you kind of just, like... The ending kind of leaves you there, like... Really? Why wasn't this just like a 30 minute short film? This could have easily been, this could have been, this is a movie that could be made for like an A&E or a TV movie, a TV movie, not a on cinema movie. It's, it's not really that good for that. Uh, there is a lack of action in here because if you think Mark Wahlberg, he's in debt, loan sharks, John Goodman. Is there going to be gun? Is there going to be boom, 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 boom? You know, like, freaking fighting on it? No, there's not. It's a lack of action because there is one scene where we see Mark Wahlberg or Jim Bennett grab a gun and you're kind of thinking, oh, it's about to go down. He's going to try to do something. You know, he's suicidal. He's ready. Lack of action. There's nothing. There's not, Don't get your hopes up, guys. That's basically what I'm saying. Do not get your hopes up that there's going to be some sort of gun action or knife action. Yeah. Also, some supporting characters. There are some characters where you don't give a shit about them. There's just characters where you're just like, fuck you, basically. Um, I'm going to end up giving this movie a C+. Plus. That is my score, 7.65 out of a 10, which equals bad vibrations, man. Uh, it's not, I mean, a C+, plus is not bad. It's not good. It's just, it's an okay movie. Is this movie worth watching? It's obviously not in theaters no more. It's got to be on DVD already. But is it worth watching? No. You don't watch this movie. And I love Mark Wahlberg. I only saw Transformers Age of Extinction because it was Mark Wahlberg. If it was Shia LaBeouf, I probably wouldn't have saw it again. But I was like, Mark Wahlberg, yes, he's going he's gonna to build the franchise up. He's going to make it something good. And then I saw Age of Extinction, and I was like... No, 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 do not, I want Mark Wahlberg to still shine, man, I, I don't want him to go down, this movie made him go down, it's, it was not good, it, it's okay, but it's really not worth watching, now if you're a huge Mark Wahlberg fan, why have you not seen this movie already, if you're a fan of that, or Rupert Wyatt, maybe just check it out for the director, again, John Goodman makes everything good for every movie he's come out, but again, C+, plus, give me, giving me some bad vibrations, man. Uh, yeah, again, 7.65 out of 10. If you've, seen, if you've seen the movie, comment down below. Let, let me know what do you guys think about the Gambler movie. And I'll see you guys uh, for my next review. Spock be with you. Always hit that like button. If you enjoyed this review, guys. Marky Mark, what's going on, dude? Give me some love, man. Give us, we need some good vibrations. We've been getting a couple bad. 2014 wasn't the year for Mark Wahlberg. And he's not a bad actor. This, this was not his fault. To me, it's just the writing's fault. And this guy wrote The Departed, the guy who's the writer in here, like uh, William Monaghan. I like The Departed. But this movie, it's not my cup of tea, and it's probably not yours either. Oh, don't check it out, guys. Don't. Don't.